Okay guys, we're out here at the 50 yard range. This is the target we're shooting. It's a hot one again today, about 90 degrees, not as bad as it has been. I'm a little damp, but uh, it's doable today. And I'm over eager to see what this can do anyway. Uh, I can't wait any longer. I'm hoping, my own personal hope, is that I can put 10, maybe a, maybe a magazine on a quarter. That would be excellent in my opinion. And I will show you how fast I can fire. Um, I got a little surprise in store. I'm not going to individually load these pellets. This is a semi-auto. That's what you bought it for. That's how you're going to use it. You're not going to be single loading. So I'm not even going to bother with that. Top targets. That's why we'll do two more, see how those look before we draw any sweeping conclusions. All right, I'm going to be shooting these dynamic, these dynamic tin pellets at the center target. These guys, dynamic tins, they proved to be pretty accurate out of this gun. The POI is a little higher than with the lead pellets, but uh, I'll just make that adjustment with a hold under. And these, according to my offhand brain calculation here, these should be zinging at about upper 900s, close to 1,000 feet per second. That's pretty hot. Aiming on the middle target.
Oh yeah, right. I almost forgot. Literally, I was packed up and I almost forgot the shotgun shells. Set them out at 50 and take the shots at them with this. Um, it seems like when you're aiming at something, you hit it a lot more than when you're aiming at paper. You find that true? Put an animal in the crosshairs, it goes down. Put uh, paper in the crosshairs and groups start to wander around. Anyway, I love aiming at something as opposed to you know, paper. I'm not a paper puncher by nature. I love a good group, but I'm not a paper puncher. So I'm going to set 10 up down there, put 12 in the clip. Hopefully uh, with one clip I can knock all 10 down. Okay, I've been here a couple hours now. I am hot, I am sticky, I think I smell like a billy goat's nutsack. I'm gonna go home, clean up, and then we'll talk about these targets as well as the different kinds of pellets that I use. Wrap this video up uh, in the air conditioning. Let's get out of here. Alright guys, here's our target. And if you average out all of these group sizes, it comes out to about just a little bit more than a half an inch at 50 yards. Pretty good. The Royal outcompeted it a little bit, as I would expect a bolt action would. This semi-auto mechanism undoubtedly is going to cost you a little bit of accuracy. But to be fair, I should note that I only tried a few pellets. In my other reviews, I tried more pellets. And in this gun, I stayed with the heavier pellets because I thought that the lighter ones would just be screaming too fast. So. The only two I actually tried was the JSB 18.1 grain and the Barracuda 21.1 grain, H&N Barracuda. The last pellet that I tried, as I noted in the video, was these dynamic tin pellets. A lot of guys have had good results from these. They actually do perform reasonably in a lot of guns. I guess an inch group at 50 yards is not totally unreasonable, but you saw how unstable they were. So I wouldn't recommend them through this gun. And maybe they're just not a good match for the smooth twist barrel, or maybe this gun was firing them too hot. I don't know that. I'll need another smooth twist gun to uh, do a proper comparison. And no, I didn't forget. Here's that surprise I promised. I'll see you at the next gun, guys. And girls. <laughs>